not, uh, we didn't have the option to pursue the death penalty. The powers that be made that decision for us. I feel obviously like we were cheated out of our opportunity for justice here. Uh, I, I think the thing that the family would say is our society has put measures in place to punish the worst of the worst, the death penalty being one of those. There aren't any worse than what you just witnessed in that courtroom. I think anybody that heard how this went down can realize that uh, there was no other option than a guilty verdict. So that just kind of reinforces the fact that we feel like we were cheated. So, what do you think about his apology? Um, I think uh, at risk of sounding like a smart aleck, I guess we should have church in prison. Everybody finds God in prison, it seems like. Maybe the best place to have church. We caught off guard. Did you expect it? Uh, we did not expect that, honestly. No, that's the first time we've heard him speak since uh, the trial started, what, seven, eight years ago, even in Illinois. We never heard him speak at all. Um, it had to be tough just seeing him come through the door. Yeah, you know, it's always a little bit emotional when, uh, you know, you're just in the presence of pure evil. I mean, you, uh, you realize what's walking in the room as soon as you see him. There's, there's really... Uh, Really, no way to describe the feeling, I guess. We came here today hoping that he would get the death penalty. That's what we want. It's what Missouri has. But that didn't happen. Not very happy about it. What do you make of his apology specifically? I don't believe where he said. I don't believe where he said. I know you broke said. down a little. Yeah, I don't believe where he said. I think it was a gig at me, I think. I really do. I mean, I, didn't even, I don't even know the guy. My, my son knew the girl, the lady, Polly, but he didn't know this guy. I didn't know him. It's been, it's been a long time. That. It's been a long time that you've waited to, to hear anything and then, from him. You know what? In 10 years, he had a lot of time to think. He can think and write what he wrote there on that paper, apologizing, wanting everybody to forgive him. I'm not going to forgive him. He killed my only son I had. What's your name, sir? Uh, excuse me. Uh, Springs. Okay. He killed my boy. All these families are good people that he destroyed. He destroyed our lives. There's not a day goes by I don't think about it.